give us, you know, a chance. Give you a chance? Why not? No, I just got out of a two year relationship. Should I be alone? Olha só, galera, tentei beijar ela. Ela não quis me beijar, mas é o seguinte: o projeto continua. Have you heard of uh, Brazilian music before? Never? Ok. Should I play some for you? Ok. Vou tentar distrair ela, né, mano? Essa é a cena. Vamos, pô, vamos colocar a LDA20 porque é da nossa quebrada, né, mano? Vou colocar a LDA20 aqui, ó. Parada no bailão. <risos> You ready? You ready? E pra você que quer o conteúdo pesado mesmo, degustação de gringa sem censura, chicletinho rosa, se você quer ver tudo e mais um pouco, entra lá no Netflix. Netflix, você encontra o conteúdo sem censura BR na gringa, degustação acelerada, beleza? Vocês encontram a gente no Instagram e no TikTok, mais especialmente no Telegram. A plataforma Netflix é como se fosse o OnlyFans, custa por volta de 30 reais o mês, mas lá no Telegram eu tô liberando boa parte do conteúdo de graça. Aí você decide se você quer entrar na página Netflix ou não, beleza? Então clica no link aí na descrição, vou deixar pinado também nos comentários. Pode ir lá que você não vai se arrepender pra você que quer assistir um conteúdo pesado de verdade estilo BR na gringa. This is the type of music that we listen in the club. This guy is actually my friend. He made like millions, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How would you dance that? <laughs> you just shake your body? <laughs> They will ask me that, so I better just ask you now. Why you didn't want to kiss me? I don't know, I don't really know you. <laughs> you don't really kiss people like too soon. I don't know. Gotta suss you out first. I got you. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Pessoal, é o seguinte, mano, ela terminou um relacionamento, ela tá meio triste, vem aqui ver ela. Mano, a menina tá toda diferente, velho. E é o seguinte, hoje vou tentar puxar essa conversa de novo, que ela não quis me falar, ela não quis, velho, não quis me falar, mas... Vou tentar puxar essa conversa de novo, e enfim, vou ver o que que tá rolando. Ela tá no banheiro agora, tá muito estranho esse palácio, que ela tá chorando, alguma coisa, não sei, não sei. Mas, vamos tentar reverter a situação. O bom BR na gringa, mano, ele sabe reverter a situação. Ela terminou um relacionamento. Então eu vou usar aquela dor pra converter ela, criar a minha vantagem, chegar por baixo, levantando, estilo pau Brasil BR na gringa, barril dobrado. Vamos ver. Calma, eu tô deixando a câmera aqui, ó, escondida aqui, galera. Um dia aqui. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Really? Yeah. Why are you crying? Tudo, I'm crying. It does. Do you want to talk about it? If you don't mind. Yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah. I'm here, I'm your friend. Yeah. Like, that's what friends are for. Okay. I just got out of like a two year relationship like last night. Oh, you got rid of it? Yeah. Were you on a relationship? Yeah. Really? Yeah, two years. Okay. Yeah. That's why you didn't want to kiss me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know, because I started OnlyFans like two months ago and he just couldn't support me through it and couldn't handle it. And right. I've kind of changed and stuff, but yeah, that's fine, I guess. That sucks, huh? Yeah, it's annoying. So were you guys two years together? Yeah. It's a long relationship. Yeah, ages. Met him when I was 16. That's crazy. Yeah. Mind me asking, did you lose your virginity with him? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so it's like a big thing. I don't know. I think that's why I'm so upset about it. it was like And you're just 19, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like he was my first for everything. Oh my god. It's like I've been in a relationship for so long, I just don't know like how to even go without it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know, as I told you the other time, like the second time we met, you know, like you, you're doing well, right? Yeah. You're doing well. How was the relationship before? Like, how were you guys okay before? It was really good at the start. And then like during, like, I don't know, like one of my friends threw him on Tinder. Mm -hmm. And then like, he was like, oh, it's no big deal. And that's when I started only fans. Cause I was like, it's not that serious if he's like trying to see other girls. But like when you're with someone for two years, especially when you get together, when like 16, 17, it's like you want to like work through everything. Yeah. And yeah, we've just been fighting so much recently. That sucks. Yeah. Do you still like him? I don't know. Like I don't yeah. know how to feel. Did did he break up or you broke up? It was like mutual. Mutual. Like, more you or more him? 
probably more him. It's hard for men, you know, like. Yeah. To, I I don't know. I don't know if I if I had a girlfriend. I mean, if I am doing OnlyFans and she's doing OnlyFans, it's fine. It's, yeah. But. Yeah, I get that. But like, he like encouraged me to do it at the start. Mm. Like, and he was like, "Yeah, we can do it together." Like, he was like excited about it because he doesn't make that much money. Like, he's an apprentice. Yeah. People say it, but when it actually happens, and it's a realize, completely different yeah, thing. I don't think he realized I actually had to like flirt and talk to guys. Yeah. Yeah, so I just don't know how to feel. Like, I'm like, am I in the wrong or is it like, I don't know, because like I quit my job, like my actual nine to five job, and all I do is only fans now as a full time job. So I'm just like, no, honestly, you shouldn't worry about it. I mean, you should worry about it because it's a long relationship, but like, I feel like you shouldn't blame you and you shouldn't feel bad about it because I honestly think, like, especially because you're 19 and you're doing so well yeah you know some people are your age they're working at Kmart or doing yeah, something else exactly. nothing wrong with that you know but like it's not ideal and you're kind of like building up your life the way you want yeah and if you have someone that is with you and they can't support you either I don't see any other way yeah and like yeah. if he told me from the start he wasn't okay with it i wouldn't have done it but he was like yeah do it like we should do it together like all that and i was like yeah. okay like i don't know if you're okay with it but all of a sudden it's just been such a problem and it's like he's cheated on me before so i thought it would be like a bit more oh he cheated on you yeah with like three other girls and I, we do you know up, them no oh my god but i assume they girls from tinder because that's what my how old is like, he 21 party age yeah yeah true yeah so i just don't know how to feel I'm like, should I delete only fans and get back with them? Or like... No way, no way. I honestly think if a person wants to be with you, doesn't matter if it's a serious relationship or just like someone that enjoys spending time with you, yeah. they will accept what you do. Yeah, exactly. You know, I feel like everything comes down to communication, to the right communication. Yeah. And yeah, no, that's like ridiculous. Like how, you know, like especially because he supported you first place and a man of word would keep his word you know yeah like this is like bitching you know like you yeah. don't want to be a pussy you know if you said yes it's yes yeah you know, and, and it's not like he's been the best boyfriend either like he did cheat on me like a few times and did he ever mention doing only things with you yeah like he, was, and he like, never so done it? For it yeah and then like when it came down to it he's like oh maybe when i moved to like a city because he lives in a small town as well like where i'm from and then i moved and he was like just kind of saving up money to do it and he's like yeah like i'm down for it blah 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 so and, many and i was like yeah if we can do it together that's fun because we can just have so much free time yeah. Do other things, but obviously, like when it actually came down to it, he didn't understand I had to talk to people. Yeah. Like he didn't understand I had to like message people. So. That's so sad. I don't know. Like I feel bad, but I'm like, I don't know. Well, I can tell you, if it was me, story would be different. I I actually like I'm an influencer myself. You know. Yeah. I do have a website that is very similar to OnlyFans, and leave. I would be more than happy to do it with you. Like, what do you mean, like? And especially because you guys are together for a long time like i don't really see why not you know uh, it's just like and i feel like when you love someone and you're building something together don't don't matter no matter what you're doing you know like it's not like only things is illegal or you have to be ashamed of it, it it's like actually very smart you know because these girls are posting pictures on instagram for free and yeah, why not exactly. to actually do it on OnlyFans and properly so you actually monetize it it's you know? like why can't i make money off what other girls do for free like, I know there's a stereotype, but, and like the reputation that comes with it, but like. No, honestly, that all that bullshit, like, when it comes down to a serious relationship involving love, I don't think that should be the problem. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if it was with me, <laughs> story would be different. Yeah, well, I wish he thought like that. <laughs> He definitely doesn't. He called me like 10 times last night just to like literally scream at me about it. It's too late for me to delete OnlyFans because I've already quit my job when I was working at the cafe making coffee and I was only getting like $400 an hour and now I make so much more than that. It's like I can't go back to a normal job now. Like I've ruined <coughs> that reputation and I'm like really liking what I'm doing but it's just like too late but I've already moved three hours down. Like I live in the Gold Coast now so I'm just like I can't go back. Like my lease isn't done till August. I don't know what he wants me to do 
weird because at first he was like, yeah, like when you're least sober, I'll move down, we'll live together. I just don't know what to do because it's like I can't get a proper job again. I don't want to. Like I like doing OnlyFans and stuff. But Honestly, Phoebe, like I feel like you're a very young girl. You're doing yeah. so well. You're so pretty. Yeah. And I don't really think you should be wasting your time with this type of people, you know? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. You know, like I feel like you could do so much you know yeah could do that's just so much that you can do you know why you know why you don't yeah give us you know a chance you a chance why not i don't know i just got out of a two year relationship should i be alone I think so. <laughs>